And I'm Bradford. And we're from By the By. Yep. Yep. But hopefully you already know that. Hopefully. And if you don't, you should listen to the podcast. Yes, listen to the podcast. <laughs> but this is our first video review. Yes, and we're here to review a very recent purchase. It's a new bed that has been custom built for us by Furniture Seduction out of Adelaide, South Australia. We're Adelaide! <laughs> And so we wanted to both kind of review the bed and also talk about the process and how it came about. Yes. Mm -hmm. So this all started many moons ago in Adelaide at Sexpo, where we really just sort of bumped into Furniture Seductions because they had a booth there. And they had one of their beds sitting in their booth. Yes. It's a solid steel bed. It is completely customizable. It has a lot of tie-down points and attachment points. It's super heavy so it's not going anywhere and it's certainly going to hold a lot of weight and yeah that was I think a lot of what we really liked about it. Yes so I think what sold it for me was when we were at Sexpo talking to Trevor he was like watch you can use it as a set of monkey bars and just the fact that it could hold his weight our weight just holding onto the bars that run across the top the canopy I was like wow this bed was built to last and this bed can literally take a beating. So these pictures were great as well because, you know, he sends us these pictures and I'm looking at this and I go, this doesn't look like a bed. I have no idea what this is. It's not a bed. But he sees this as a bed. And what he would do is he would give us a phone call, send us an yeah. email, and explain to us exactly what we were looking at. Yeah, and so as we started going through the process, he would send emails and photos of the build process so we could see kind of how it went along. And every week or two, he would give us an update on what was happening. When it came to the headboard, like Bradford said, we knew that we didn't want the upholstered kind of leather headboard. We wanted something that was more lattice work, but we didn't exactly know what pattern we wanted. So he even took some pieces and kind of laid them out, took a few different pictures, sent them to us so we could get a better idea as to exactly what we wanted that to look at. So it was really, really helpful to have that, that level of service. And fast forward to the end of the whole project, yes. he gives us a booklet of all of the emails that we'd sent back and forth. He also sent us a, a picture book of all of the different uh, stages that the bed were in, and he was sending us this as the, as the bed was being developed. Yeah. So we were constantly on top of knowing where our bed was, what state it was in, and about how much longer it was going to be before we got to uh, sleep and play in it. Yeah. Yeah, so it was a really, really easy, seamless process. So we should talk about how long it took, the process overall. Yes. I think that if it was a, a more basic bed, it was, would have taken probably four to six weeks to build. But we did have a special bit that we'll show you here in a bit. We, but we do have bars that come out of the toe end, and those come out via an actuator. And so I think there were some issues getting the actuators working and getting them just right and getting them in. And so that actually added probably six weeks to the build process to work all of that out. But I think all told it probably took three months or so to build. Uh, so yeah, that definitely added some time working out the actuators, but absolutely worth it from our viewpoint anyway. Absolutely. Yeah. It does come apart. It's not one yes. big bed. It comes apart into about four major pieces and a few bits and bobs uh, beyond that. The heaviest part was the headboard. It is solid steel. The headboard weighs about 120 kilos, which is about 200 pounds if you're in the States. It's built to last. Yes, and the headboard, if you're doing, if you choose one that has kind of the upholstered look or the leather look, it's not near as heavy. It's because of the lattice work and all the extra steel involved with that, that the headboard is so heavy. Yes. And so the next heaviest piece is the canopy at the top because there are bars that go all across. Um, other than the weight and getting it up the stairs, which was great fun getting it into our place. We didn't have to go to the gym that weekend. <laughs> Uh, it really wasn't too bad though because all of the pieces do fit through a standard doorway so we didn't really have any issues with that. Yeah, yeah the, the stairs were the hardest part with the heavy pieces. But yeah, so we have the, the pieces are the headboard, there's the canopy, uh, there's the kind of the footboard toe end piece, there's an additional bar up here that you'll see shortly. You can't see it yet, but it's up there. Yes. And then there are a few pieces on the bottom, there are the legs, the support legs underneath, and then the slats. 
So most of the pieces aren't really too bad to maneuver, just the headboard and the canopy were the two biggest, for sure. Excellent. All right, so let's go to get a drink. You should go get a drink too, and then we'll show you up close some of the details of the bed. Yes. we were able to do was to customize the height of the bed so we were able to tell Trevor exactly where we wanted the slats to start which for me was important because we wanted to have some under bed storage and so I wanted the bed to be high enough to be able to still be able to get storage bins underneath which also meant that we had to specify how far apart the legs needed to be underneath as well and then we wanted the total height to get up to be the same height as our old bed because we are reusing the mattresses. And what we found with our previous bed is that it is the perfect height to do something like this. <laughs> and who doesn't want to do this? This is great, look at that ass. That's oh, fun. I know, yeah. right? So one of the extra things that we wanted from the bed was a bar to go across the footboard because we don't have room in our place for a St. Andrew's cross, but we do enjoy some impact play. So we thought if we had a bar to go across the bottom, then somebody could be tied to the bed and lean against that bar and it could act as a bit of a, a St. Andrew's cross style for us. Yes. So it's really easy to move the bar. There are four screws, which there will be close-ups of at some point during the video. But all we need to do, you ready? Yep. Okay. that to move the bar to whatever position you need for whatever kind of play you're doing. So this bar can go from up top like we just saw mm -hmm. all the way down to the mattress height. So if you wanted a little more pushing, something to push against during sex, that's something that would be great. Uh, this bar can do it. And if you want to be tied to it like this or tied to it like this, it's depending on your height, it can achieve it. One other really nice plus are handles. Every bed needs handles. Whether you're using it for pulling yourself up, or for pulling yourself up, or for pushing yourself up, it's nice to have them. And this bed came with two. And we could probably order more if we really wanted some. But they're completely movable, just like the bar here. They can go to any height that we want. And what's great about these as well is not only are they great handles of footholds or ties or tie points or whatever you want, they're also a really great place in order to hang all of your accoutrement and toys for, you know, easy access. Like, say, your floggers. It's perfect. So we have a lot of these tie down points that were supplied with the bed and they're really great because like everything else you can move them around and they can go into any of the holes up and down the columns or along the top canopy. There are a few points there to attach as well and they're really great for if you want to do any kind of rope work or rope tying, uh, if you want to, if you have any other like handcuffs or accoutrement like that that you use to tie people up with, it's, it's a lot of fun and it does, they do move around to whatever height you need them to be and whatever placement you need them to be. One of the 
other things that we customized about the bed is we wanted bars to come out of the toe end so that we could attach a swing or a sling to it. And we wanted them to extend beyond the bed for certain types of play. And uh, so yeah, that's where the actuators come in. So we have this handy dandy remote. And who doesn't want a remote for their bed? I know, come on. And so all we have to do is hit the button and the bars will come out. And the magic will start. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now that the bars are out, they come out about 500 millimeters. Or about a foot and a half. Yes, and it takes about two minutes in total for that to happen. So it gives you plenty of time to keep the foreplay going and, you know. Get the mood going, get your yeah. candles going. Uh, <laughs> yes, but now we can put a nice swing here. I feel like you're gonna kill yourself. I'm gonna try to get in this. I'm gonna try to be sexy. Look, there's no sexy way to do these swings. I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> and you did not kill yourself. I didn't kill myself. Great. But look, and now I'm just hanging around. I'm ready for the sexy times. Yeah. Uh, uh -huh. Yeah. These will hold both mine and her weight. Mm -hmm. uh, they were rated for about 200 and... I think it's 250 kilos for each side. So it's great to have a swing on one end or the other if you want. Or if you have multiple people, you can have two swings. That's on right. Side. And then you can race. It would be like a racing swing. Uh-huh. Uh, or you can have a sling where it attaches at these two ends and then also above the bed. So there's a lot of different configurations that we can do. And that was kind of why we really wanted this bed and, and wanted it set up the way that it is because we like how configurable, how maneuverable it is depending on what we're doing, who's around, how many people we have. <laughs> I'm just sort of drifting here. This is great. Yeah, so uh, this is the best way to get into the swing of things. Ha ha ha. Well done. Thanks. <laughs> All right, now I'm going to try to get out of it. Sexy stop. Woof. That wasn't so bad. Thanks. Yeah. yeah. shout out to Furniture Seduction. Thank you so much for building us such an amazing bed and helping us to customize it to everything that we want so that we can have a forever bed out of this. Absolutely. You can find them on Facebook at Furniture Seduction. Uh, you can message us and uh, we'll let you know how to mm -hmm. how to get a hold of them. Uh, their details should be down below in the links. Yep. If you liked this video, please hit the like button. Uh, also, please subscribe to our channel. We're going to try to do these videos a little more often. <laughs> uh, yeah, any other final things? Ooh, big shout out to Our Secret Spot for yes. letting us borrow their sex swing. Mm -hmm. uh, we haven't picked our own yet, but uh, we're still trying to figure out what best, works best for us. Yes, yeah, so we want a swing and a sling, and once we decide what we want and we get it in, we'll definitely do a review of that too. And you'll get to see more pictures of the bed or more videos of the bed. Yeah. Uh, so thank you very much. And also, you know, in closing, Alexa, let's get it on. Thank you.